Life can be so crazy sometimes. Go, go, go. Who couldn't add a little bit of, well, glamour to your life? That's what the pinup craze is all about. Some cute clothes, some better hair and makeup. That's why it's so popular. Morning in Heather Shelton's house is pretty busy, but that doesn't mean they don't squeeze in some fun. <laughs> in addition to being a single mom, she takes care of her grandmother, who moved in more than a year ago. Face mama, please. She's also finishing up one degree and then plans to start on her master's. There you go, lovey. So yeah, Heather's busy. Do you want yogurt or cheese stick? But sometimes mommy needs some me time. Take an applesauce too. After she drops off Sydney and Veronica at school, she's going from fam to glam. I'm a girl and by me that's only great. I am proud that my silhouette is curvy. This is how most people think of pinup. They were advertisements for business and men would just pin them up. I adore being dressed in something frilly. Nikki owns Vixen Pinup Photography and has always loved vintage movies and clothes and those glamorous pinup models like Betty Grable. I feel like dancing tonight. She had that pose where she was turned and looking over her shoulder and kind of had her, her butt popped up and back then that was like a really big thing, you know, and we're like, oh my gosh, you can see her legs. They're crying the blues. Nikki says her love for the genre and its history is how she got started doing this. Half up, half down? Yeah, I think that'd be great. She used to do vintage hair and makeup for her friends and then about six oh. years ago, a friend asked Nikki to take her picture. And I did the photos and they turned out really good and they went on MySpace back in those days and um, People just started writing me out of nowhere, just like, hey, can you do that for me? A year later, Nikki was getting lots and lots of business. Finally, I was like, wow, I could actually do this. This is, was kind of like my epiphany moment. Like I'd been working all these corporate jobs all my life and just miserable, just creatively stifled and thought, oh my God, I could do this for a living. That's amazing. Forget your troubles, come on, get happy. You better chase all your cares away. Pretty classic. Um, Neutral eye with the cat eye. Candy does the makeup for Nikki now. She says they both do a lot of research to make it authentic. They want everything to be really era appropriate. Hallelujah, get happy before the judgment day. Candy and Nikki's work has been published in pinup magazines, also making a big comeback. Hallelujah, come on, get happy. But most of their clients are just doing this for themselves. Just everyday girl next door, um, their mothers, their they're, um, they're teachers, there's doctors, nurses. We can have you open. You'd be surprised some of the high-end <laughs> ladies that we've worked with in some of the positions, like lawyers. And they're like, I, you know, I'm in a suit all day. I really want to feel sexy. I cannot think of a time where anybody has walked out of here just not on top of the world. One thing you may have noticed, there are no mirrors on the walls. I think we are good. This is your basic <laughs> pinup look. Heather doesn't get to see herself until this moment, the reveal. I'm so excited. Are you ready to see? I am. Okay. Oh my gosh, Nikki, look at that. Oh my this is the part where Nikki and Candy have learned they must have tissues ready. Crying is pretty common. Most of the times when they cry at the reveal, we cry too. We tear up because it's... You know, it's just, it's an amazing gift that you're able to give somebody. We've got to keep kids clean and, and fed. We've got to make sure that our dogs are taken care of. We've got to pay bills. We've got to try to keep up a house. You know, we do so many things and wear so many hats that when you get this moment to look at yourself and to be like, I am worth this. I can look like this. I can feel like this. It's just, it's a shock every time. Every time. It never, absolutely never gets old. And this is to make or to smile for me. Shaking the blues away. Beautiful job. Candy and Nikki say many women come here to have these pictures taken as a gift for a husband or boyfriend. One, two, three. Ooh. But they leave here realizing that they really did it for themselves. I love this. <laughs> Pin up now is more about this might sound silly, but I think it's a feminist act. And a lot of people might argue with me on that point, but I think it's something that's empowering that you're taking your own sexual power into yourself and you're portraying that and you're being brave and being like, I can wear red lipstick. Good job. It's about you and finding that in yourself and knowing that you're, you're still beautiful, you're still a woman, and you still deserve to feel good about yourself. It's completely changed my life 
and I mean that literally. It has literally changed my life, this whole experience. Last one. When I have a brand new hairdo. Nikki says that's what inspires her to pick up that camera. Very nice. Knowing that every click, every flash, every smile changes everything. They didn't know they had that personal power within themselves, and they kind of morph into this really beautiful, glamorous person out of it. This is how I make my living, it is. But it also, I feel like, is a personal calling for me in life. And it's easy to see how this kind of thing would be addictive. If you want to find out more about Vixen pinup photography, head to our website, fox4kc.com. Tess Koppelman, Fox 4 News, working for you.